This is Calvin Kastein. Well, that's not Calvin Kastein. It's the uh, 28th day of March. This is uh, Northern Tears version of March Madness. If looking at Puggy Monet in uh, shorts isn't March Madness. Nothing is. We're at the Rouses Point Elementary School for I believe the third annual, it's at least the third annual old timers game. And the benefit is for the rescue squads from Champlain and Rouse's Point. It's the Champlain Central graduates from I think 1950 and back against the Rouse's Point, the Rouse's Point counterparts from that same era. And although I was told that he was not going to be allowed to play, Norman, Norman Puggy Manette is here again this year, even though he was a, a Moore's man. He is back, and it's Rouse's Point versus Champlain coming up right now on Hometown Cable. <laughs> <laughs> Marnie Beal's got dueling cameras over there. Marlene uh, Beal over there. Gonna compete with us. And our play by play man, as always, will be Brian Jefferson. Andy Morelli will be one of the referees, and the second ref is supposed to show up momentarily. Second lane. Foul shots. Each team has a player underneath the basket. It's not the defense that has two players. It's a defense. I remember that. Okay. When I was in defense, high school. And you can't go in the lane until the ball hits the rim on a foul shot. They do that now. Okay, that's the same thing same we do thing now. It is. Yeah. And anytime there's a foul, all fouls are shooting fouls. One shot. One uh -huh. shot, except the shooting. Left shooting your yeah. ass, too. And so near the end, the team that's foul can wave the foul, they get out of bounds, not lose possession. What do you mean, near the end? What do you mean? Wait, how well, near the end? <laughs> how near the end? No, you can do it anytime. You can near do it anytime. I like this near the end. And I'll ask you this. You, got, you guys are going to figure this out. Okay. Guy shoots, makes a shot, he's fouled. Get a three-point play or not. You think about that. <laughs> Guy shoot. Gets yeah, one shot. There's all three seconds. <laughs> I don't know why he wouldn't make the shot and get a foul shot. Uh, the other referee is around Jim Bruno, as we can see here. And John Southwick and Andy Morelli and Ron Jim Bruno were just going over the rules. We'll try to cover those as the game progresses. Some of the rules will be a little unfamiliar to our viewers. Yes, good evening ladies and gentlemen and sports fans from around the North Country. This is Brian Jefferson and I'm here with Calvin Castine tonight on the 28th of March. Welcome to the Hometown Cable Classic Network. This is the class of 1950 and 1951. Champlain High School versus Rouses Point. In a throwback in time, EMS donations are taken at the door and we have post 912 Legion from Rouses Point will be our color guard. And I'll give you tonight's lineup. For the Champlain High School, John, Dr. J. Southwick, Chud, the stud, Fosier, Dick, the bartender, Badat, Bud Weiser, Willette, Rapid Roy, Guyette, Dave, Shaq Southwick, Kenny McLean, Mr. Clean, LaPlante, and Bernard the Basher, Bashard, and Norbert the Sharpshooter, Yakey. That's the lineup for Champlain, and now I'll be glad to give you the lineup from Rouse's Point. We got Jules the Train Tran, the organizer of the game tonight, Stormin Norman, Puggy Manette. Now they say that he didn't go to school in Rouse's Point, Dr. Southwick told me that, he's kind of a ringer. Tricky Dicky Duffy, John Munson Burner Rowe, Walter the Stripper Conley, and Graham the Red Streak Wilder, Marcel Crash Coran, and Arnold the Mailman Jubert. And that's the lineup here tonight, and we're just about ready for tip-off. Okay, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Again, this is Classic Cable Network, Hometown Cable. It's the 28th of March, and we got a barn burner here tonight. Champlain versus Rouse's Point. This is our third year, 
And now, from post 912, the Rouses Point Legion, our color guard. I guess we're ready to start. Everybody's ready to play. They don't want to get too tired warming up. <laughs> Before we begin, I'd like to remind everybody tonight that the donations at the door will be split equally between the Ross Point Champlain EMS squads. Uh, thank you for your donations. And if you want to give more on the way out, they'll still be there. <laughs> Tonight's game features the squads, and I don't remember reading in the paper, but I think from the 50s, 40s? <coughs> from the 40s. Ross's Point Central High School against the Champlain Central High School. It's taken three years to get to this point, but the series is tied one to one. Ross's Point's got half more than you think. That's because we're close to that school. <laughs> I got all kinds of notes here, and I'll try to figure out an order to go. Uh, I guess the first thing to, to do would be to ask for a moment of silence for all our own armed forces overseas fighting in the battle. Thank you very much. Uh, I guess we'll introduce the teams. I don't know who's starting. They're going to have to figure that out themselves. But from the home team, Ross's Point. Uh, we have Dick Duffy. I don't have any money. Uh, John Rowe. And I think he was most valuable player last year. Jewel Strahan. Fourth on the team is Walt Conley. Next we have Marcel Karen. He's already resting over there in that heater. Uh, we have Norman Manette. And last but not least, my godfather, Red Hubert. Visiting squad, Champlain. We have Roy Gayet. <laughs> Dr. John Salwin. Hey, Dr. J. Mr. Give Me a Bud Wallette. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting better now. We have Ken LaPlante. He said he's going to clean up his game. My old neighbor, Dick Bennett. Starting center, Dave Southwood. Slowly. And Chudley Fosier. Chudley's not here. I have Norbert Gaines.
This cheerleader routine better organized there, Brian. sang the anthem last year, Brian, as you recall, and a lot of folks who remember her from the group Upper U.S. In fact, uh, we still play their music regularly on Hometown Cable. Good. Well, thank you. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Calvin Castine along with Brian Jefferson, and we're ready for the tip-off. I have one request. Somebody tonight has to make nine points, because sitting next to me is Dave Southwick celebrating her ninth birthday. <laughs> I'll explain it all. Throwing out the first ball to the referee is town supervisor Bruce Wallace. Hey, Bruce. Well, good evening. We're ready for tip off in Rouse's Point. The stripper is starting already over there, Walt Conley. He's already taken off two layers of shirts. Well, I think he forgot his sneakers, too, Calvin. He's got three layers of socks on, he told me. <laughs> uh. Okay, we're ready to, for the tip-off. <laughs> 
This is the 28th of March. We're in Rouse's Point. It was a beautiful spring day, and it's Champlain versus Rouse's Point. Who are you picking to win tonight, Calvin? I don't know. Both of these teams, I'd say three-quarters of them are here just to have fun, but their two captains are <laughs> are really into this. Jules Trahan and, and John Southwick couldn't be more competitive, and uh, I don't know. It, last year, as you recall, Ken LaPlante ended up going over to Rouse's Point because they were short of players. This year, Ken's on the uh, Champlain team. So that might have been the deciding factor last year. And, of course, Puggy Manette had a great first half with Rouse's Point, got hurt early in the second half. If he stays healthy, that could be a big factor for Rouse's Point. So I don't know. We'll see. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our referees, Ron Giambruno and Andy Morelli from Champlain. For those of you who can see the scoreboard, Champlain will be the red numbers, Rouse will be the blue numbers. And as always, Brian, the standing room only at this uh, annual event. People pack in here. To, people really look forward to this. Yeah, I was surprised. There's quite a few cars here when we pulled up around 7 o'clock. Okay, here we go. 7.35, Friday night, March 28th. Jules Tran against Bud Bullet for the tip-off. And Champlain wins it. John Rowe comes up with it. John Rowe, retired school teacher. Looks like he's in pretty good shape. Passes over to Walt Conley. Oh, Walt's got his sneakers on now. There's Dick Bidette. Dick Bidette gets, gives it over to John Southwick. Coming over the line. John looking around. Oh, Dick Duffy with a cat-like move. Dick Duffy. There's Jules Tran. Bounce pass to Puggy Manette. Puggy Manette driving. Walt Conley passes it over to Jules Tran. Jules throws it up. Oh, off the rim. Rebounded by Bud Willette. <laughs> okay, Bud Willette to John Southwick. Back to Bud Willette. Over center court. He's looking around. Jules Strand defending with his hands up. Ken LaPlante. Mr. Clean. Dick Bidette was a good athlete at one time. He was a good softball player. I saw Bidette's name in the paper recently in those... Uh old uh, days from sports there. He had about a 30-point ball game. I did see that, Calvin. Okay, and here's Dick Bidette from the foul line. Oh, beautiful. Dick Bidette. Okay, and Champlain draws first blood. Two to nothing. First blood is the way to describe it here. We've had blood in just about every one of these games so far. Where's John Rowe? You haven't seen him in the past. I don't know. Oh, well, John with a little fake. He looks awfully young. Maybe he's lying about his age. It's in pretty good shape. Out of bounds called. You'll, you'll notice you don't have much trouble following the ball. Jules Tran, captain of the Rouse's Point squad. Semi-retired. It's in pretty good shape. He plays volleyball. John Southwick defending against him. Jules Tran, bounce pass. Oh, Walt Conley. Oh, <laughs> Looked like a clean hole to me. <laughs> I like his shorts, Calvin. <laughs> Conley's asking for a tee. He's gonna, he's gonna get, he's gonna get okay. a technical. He doesn't straighten up. <laughs> John Southwick is coming to the line. It's two to nothing. Uh -oh. They're shooting one shot. It's a flashback to the 1950-51 graduating class. John Southwick. Yes! And 3-0. Champlain comes out to a quick lead. Ron Jim Bruno showing that he's as old as he looks. He uh, said they're playing old rules. And instead of normally when a foul shot, the, the team on defense gets the two inside spots. The old rules, they alternated. One inside, one had the inside, one had the, the other team had the inside. He alternated, so that's what he did right there. Well, I didn't know that rule, Calvin. That was before me. Oh, wow. They almost had one. Dick Bidette looking around over to John Southwick. Back to Dick Bidette. Bounce pass to Ken LaPlante. He's head faking, back and forth, weaving, looking for John Southwick underneath. 
in the corner to Bud Willat. Oh, it hits the rim and comes off. Puggy Manette is on it like a cat. John Rowe. Oh, turnover. Jewel Strand. Oh, jump ball. Number 17 for Rouse's Point. Jewel Strand, one of the organizers of the event. Jump ball. It's three to nothing. Champlain leading Rouse's Point. Here comes Marcel Coran. Here we go. Bud Willette against Jules Tran. Uh, uh, oh, Jules Tran driving the lane. Buggy Manette. Oh, oh, almost put Rouse's point on the scoreboard, but they missed. John, Dave Southwick passes over to Bud Willette. John Southwick's got it. Driving up. He lays it up. Oh, John Southwick. Oh, oh. John Southwick is looking like most valuable player already, Calvin. It's, it's, early, yet, Brian. it's early, I know, I know. Puggy Manette throws one up, and it goes out of bounds. Ken LaPlante throws it inbounds to Dr. J. John Southwick. Timeout. Red Jubert comes in, and he's taken over for Dick Duffy. And I want to mention, too, that the Post 912 gave us a nice donation for the 4th of July parade. They're going to be sponsoring a band, bagpipe band, from Cornwall, Ontario, Sunday, July 6th. Don't miss it. Norbert Yakey, bounce pass underneath. John Rowe recovers, driving past center court. Up against Norbert Yakey. Oh, Jules Tran. Oh, Jules Tran puts it in. And it's five to two. Norbert Yakey. Not every day, Brian, you see a player with a watch on here, but Red George wants to know what time it is. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh, oh. You okay, Red? Yep. Rapid Roy. Rapid Roy. Roy up. And it's seven to two. John Rowe coming across center court. Throws it up. Oh. Rebound by John Southwick. Goes out of bounds, passes it up to Norbert Yakey. Timeout called. Any idea how long we're playing here, Brian? No, I think it's, I don't even know what they play, 12 minutes or 15? Well, they used to play eight, but I have no idea, they, you know, which is what they play now still, but I don't know how long they're playing. You remember, Calvin, when they used to have the uh, Balcony up here, yeah. Okay, Buggy Manette now, he's from Moores. I don't know how he got invited to play. Uh, he's a ringer. He's very, he's, uh, his presence here is very uh, contested. There's John Rowe with a head fake. Going around, bounce pass into Marcel Coran. Marcel, ooh, he looked pretty good, Marcel. He missed it, but hook shot. And it goes out of bounds. Recovered by Rouse's Point, Norman Puggy Manette. Throws it inbounds to John Rowe. All right, now one of the rules this, this year that they've gone to the, back to the old rules, another rule I wasn't aware of was there's no three seconds. Of course, back when these guys played, that key, the, the area around the foul line, looked exactly like an old keyhole. It was only about uh, the Puggy Manette score and only about half as wide as it is now. And they changed that back when uh, Wilt Chamberlain started to come along because uh, actually uh, Wilt or maybe George Mikan was the, the uh, reason for it. I think George Mikan more I think of it. Huh. Okay, we're back underway. It's 7-4. to four. Champlain over Rouse's point. Dick Bidette is underneath. And there's a scramble for the ball. John Rowe gets it and brings it over to Jules Tran. Jules Tran's in pretty good shape. Looking around. John Southwick looks like a got his hands up. Oh, jump ball. Dave Southwick hasn't lost a step, has he? <laughs> yes, he has. He wasn't that slow 50 uh, years ago. <laughs> he was a good athlete, too. Oh, yeah, I remember oh, he was oh, a good definitely. softball player. Yeah, I don't remember the basketball too much. Too. Oh, he was. They a foul, I don't believe that. Oh, they called a foul. Oh, jump God. Ball, jump oh, jump ball. Okay, there we go. Okay. want to thank our referees, Andy Morelli and Ron Giambruno from Plattsburgh. Okay, Champlain. Coming down the court, Mr. Clean LaPlante, oh, underneath, they're all over him. 
They're all over him, Calvin. Wow. Foul on John Rowe. <laughs> Dr. John wanted two. That so Andy calls him for one shot. Seven to four. <laughs> oh, off the rim. Puggy Manette. Wow, he is quick. Driving up underneath number 10. Bounce path. Jules Tran throws it up. It goes out of. Jump ball. Oh, they're fighting for it. John Roan, Ken LaPlante go head to head, but it goes out of bounds. Oh, foul on Jules Tran. Seven to four. Dick Bidette. Bring the ball up, looking around. Bounce pass to John Southwick. Underneath, back to Kendall Plant. John Southwick driving, they're all over him. Here comes Red Jubert from Scioto. Underneath to Marcel Coran. Bounce pass, underneath. John Rowe, oh, just missed. Marcel's under, oh, Marcel Coran. The seven to six, Calvin. Here comes Dick Bidet. One minute left in the first quarter. Oh, off the rim. Puggy Manette is like a cat out here. Oh, he throws it up. Oh, Marcel Corner is underneath. Puggy Manette doesn't even have gray hair. That's legitimate. That's about the minute. <laughs> it's a family characteristic. Okay, Dick Bedet over to John Southwick to Norbert Yankee. Oh, him and Jules are. I, I bet on Norbert if they start swinging uh, the ball. Yeah, uh, Norbert outweighs him, I think, by a few pounds. Okay, they're going to jump ball here. <laughs> they take this pretty seriously. Oh, comes over, Champlain puts it up, rebounded by Jules Strand, comes over center court. Number 17 for Rouse's point. Jules gotta learn to dribble left if he's gonna progress his game. Here. Some of these guys have been practicing. Oh, nice Kendall plant, but he just misses. First quarter's done. It's seven for Champlain, six for Rouse's point. <laughs> okay, we're back on. This is the second quarter. Oh, now wait a minute here, Calvin. What happened here? They're saying nine. Nine, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I had a change. I think we're going to have to play it back, Calvin. Oh, whatever the scorebook says, the scorebook rules. I hope they're not going to protest it. Is that grounds for protest? <laughs> no. The, uh, the referees can check with the scorer, and if the referees uh, agree that the scorer is not uh, <laughs> being dishonest, then the official book rules. Okay, well, I'm staying corrected. Champlain, 9. Rouses Point High School, 6. First quarter was a good good quarter. I'm sure most people watching at home are scoring it right along as the game progresses, so everybody at home knew it already. It was watching it. I'm sure with a full pad of paper. What do we call? Oh, here comes Puggy Minat. He's looking for the concession stand. Amazing some of these guys don't even wear glasses. <laughs> referees do though. Are the referees being paid? I I don't know. I, I'm sure Andy isn't, but I, I have no idea. Okay, here we go. Dick Duffy. Back to John Rowe. John Rowe throws it up. Oh, off the rim. Out of bounds. And White, Champlain, Ken LaPlante underneath. Passes it over to John Southwick. 
Back to Ken LaPlante. He's in pretty good shape, too. Uh, I don't know if he's still in the ski patrol, but he certainly was for many years, and I, I wouldn't doubt if he still is. It's a nice crowd here tonight. Bud Vallette underneath. Dick Duffy. Huh. Look, looking for a fan. Looking for a foul. Here comes John Rowe. Quite a fisherman. Bounce pass to Dick Duffy. He's nobody around. He's looking like he wants to shoot. John Rowe comes in. Head fake over to Walt Conley. Back to Jules. Jules looking around. Who's open? Puggy Menendez comes to the line. Oh, Calvin. Unbelievable. No, it's nine to eight. Ken LaPlante coming up over center court. We're in Rouse's Point. This is a hometown cable classic network. A lot of action in the corner. They're all over Dick Bidette. Oh, John Southwick fakes, passes it up to Ken LaPlante, throws it up. Oh, it should have gone in, Calvin. Should have gone in. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Jules Tran was ahead of himself. Jules driving the lane. Oh, Buggy Manette throws one up. Oh, it almost went in, too. They're taking a lot of shots, Calvin. Ken LaPlante coming up over center court against Jules Tran. Over to Walt Conley. Walt's looking. Give it to Jules. Let him drive to the net. Oh. I think he was fouled, but they didn't call it. Dick Duffy's defending. There's Jules Tran underneath. He's looking around. They're all over Jules Tran. It is a John Southwick over to Puggy Minette. Over to Walt Conley. Walt's looking. Oh, traveling. Ah, oh, good call. Okay, he was traveling. I'd like to remind people, if you haven't sent a check in to Hometown Cable, anything you can do, Calvin would appreciate it. Five or ten years down the road, when you pull out a tape of your children or your grandchildren, you're going to be happy that or your, Calvin... Or your grandfather. <laughs> or your grandfather. You'll be happy that you've donated to Hometown Cable. Okay, we're back underway. Oh, there we go. Roy Gayette scores two. And I believe it's 11 to 8. Should be 11. Scorekeepers. Tom Venn is our announcer. Joe Southwick is at the table. And it's knocked out of bounds by Marcel Coron. Okay, Ken LaPlante takes a ball from referee Andy Morelli. Here comes Ken LaPlante. He hasn't even broke a sweat yet, Calvin. He's up against Dick Duffy, throws it up. Oh, underneath John Southwick, struggling. <laughs> Dick Duffy got fouled Dr. Southwick, I think. It's 11 to 8. We're in the second quarter. John Southwick, team captain for Champlain, throws it up. Oh, he gets his own rebound underneath. Oh, again, he draws another foul. Two shot, it's a shooting foul. Oh, Jules Trey is in foul trouble, Calvin. I don't know if we've had anybody foul out in the past. Jules might be the first. He's at least two. It's 11 to eight. John Southwick on the line. John Southwick has been practicing as Jules Trey has been also, they tell me, through a confidential source. Throws it, oh, it's the end, oh. He's looking like most valuable player now, Calvin. Well, <laughs> he must have been a, it's, the scoreboard put 21 up there. <laughs> Instead of 12, they're, they're learning. Uh, it's still early here. Oh, he makes two. Oh, he stepped over the line. Oh, oh. Oh, we're getting a few boos here, Calvin. I don't like to hear that. Uh-oh, they're calling. Dick Duffy's giving the signal. Oh. Andy Morelli's calling. The Time. The score's 12 to 8. Thank you. 
Well, they want to make sure the score is. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's 20 points we've seen so far. We're on. Good to see you. 40 points or more tonight, Galvin. Okay, Jules Tran comes to the top of the key over to Marcel Coran. Marcel back to Jules. Jules is looking. Dick Bidette. Oh, underneath, John Southwick comes up with it from Kendall Plant. Bud Bullett from Champlain. Comes over. He's looking around. Somebody can get open from Champlain. Oh, Ken LaPlante. They're all over him. He throws it out of bounds. Trying to stop the clock. You thought he was at a football game. I don't know what happened there, but. With all the tackling going on out there. <laughs> it's understandable. John Rowe throws. Oh, John Rowe. Hey, John, way to go. John Rowe looks pretty good. 12 to 10, Calvin. Of course, he lives in Champlain, but he, I don't know if he graduated here from Rouse's Point. Apparently. He did live in Rouse's Point at one time because I went to school with his son, Scott. I think he lived in Jerry Hicks's whole house. Oh, Puggy McNatt. Wow. One on one against Ken LaPlante. Missed dribbles. Over to Jules. Jules throws. Oh. 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 We could have used that one, Calvin. I'm sorry, but I'm cheering for Rouse's point. I know you're probably cheering for the boys from Champlain, but John Rowe throws it up, and it goes out of bounds. Oh, that's why Jules brought you in. It doesn't matter to me who wins here, but because yeah. you see Jules got rid of the two referees because he thought they were prejudiced, Steve Southwick and Randy LaBombard. Well, well, I was honored so when... You keep your job, so that's why he's, uh, you're cheering for him, right? I was honored that Jules Trent asked me to come and do the game with Hometown Cable. Oh, John Southwick is down, but he's not hurt. EMS is on the scene if we need them. Donations will be split from Champlain and Rouse's Point EMS. I want to mention the good job that they do for the North Country. They're all good people in the fire department. And we're back underway. We're in the second quarter. Puggy Manette passes it over to Jules Tran. Jules looking around. Over to Norm. Throw. Oh, God. They've taken a lot of shots, Calvin. Okay, goes out of bounds, and Rouse's Point comes up with it. John Rowe up against John Southwick. Goes off Dick Bidette. Jules Tran underneath. Norm Manette circling. And it goes out of bounds. Norm Manette's in pretty good shape. He hasn't even broke a sweat. Just got a little gray in his hair. Over to Jules. Silver Fox, Jules Tran. Dick Bidette underneath. Buggy Manette throws it up. Oh, again. Jules Tran gets a shot. Marcel Cora underneath. Taken away. Roy Goyette comes up. And there's Ken LaPlante. Ken's looking around. He's looking around. They're hollering traveling, but didn't look like it to us. Norbert Yankee. Oh, Norbert Yankee. Oh, with a big smile on his face. It's 14 to 10. That's why they call him the sharpshooter. He is a sharpshooter. We got John Rowe here. Bunsen burner. Bunsen burner. Yeah, I lost my, my notes here. Marcel underneath. Oh, that was a beauty. He's got a good hook shot for. Okay. Not quite a sky hook, but it'll do. Well, it was a good one. It's 14. It's a 14, I think. We got a mix up in the score here. Okay, John Southwick to Ken LaPlante. Ken LaPlante. Oh, wow. Wow. I was looking to see what they're going to put that score up, and LaPlante scored. Well, we know Champlain has 16. 16 14, I believe. We we'll have to play the tape back, Calvin, will we? <laughs> I guess the scoreboard's falling apart over there. The numbers are falling off. Okay, we're almost at halftime. It's 8 o'clock. Ball goes out of bounds. Ken LaPlante against John Rowe. And on a normal Friday night, these guys at 8 o'clock would be sleeping in their chairs. Yes, they would be. John Southwick has played most of the game. It goes out of bounds. I think he was looking for Henry Gooley over in the corner. 
<laughs> well, we got 16 to 12. Is that the right score, Calvin? I, I don't know. I, you know, 14 sounds right, but I'm not going to argue. Okay, we'll let you know as soon as it comes up. Oh, Marcel Corna. Roy Gaillet. Over to Ken LaPlante. Ken LaPlante being covered by John Rowe. Back to Roy. Oh, Roy throws it up. Misses. And we got Roy's got it. Throws it up. And, oh, and it goes in. So, 18 to 12, according to the score. Okay, here comes John Rowe, Bunsen burner. Underneath, Dave Southwick fighting. Dry. Oh, boy, I'll tell you. A look of determination. Over to his brother. A shack attack that time. Oh, my. Norbert Yankee. Oh, Norbert's looking like most valuable player now. And he's got the trot down well, too. He knows how to do the trot when he scores. Boy, he gets a big smile on his face. Okay, Rouse's point. Thrown up a lot, but they're not getting very many. Off the rim. Oh, throws it up again. Jules Strand keeps it in. And it goes out of bounds. Just, just seconds remaining. We're almost at halftime. Twenty to twelve. <laughs> Dick Bennett says, uh, "Oh, okay, it's halftime. Twenty to twelve. That's a barn burner." Wow. Five hundred and eighty-four dollars at the door. That's fantastic. A good donation for the local EMS. Again, we like to mention thank you EMS for the good things you do. I think they ought to play winner take all. Whatever, whatever town wins gets the money. What do you think, Brian? Uh, I don't know. I'd rather have it see it be splat. <laughs> Walt Connolly has a personal Better, foul. Huh? We should have to go Marcel Karen has four points. Norman Manette with four points. And a rebound. And Red Cooper is just to be on the board. <laughs> For Champlain, Roy Guyette seems to be the high scorer with six points. John Southwick has four. <laughs> Bud Willett. Bud Willett is yet to be on the scoreboard. Ken LaPlante has four points, two rebounds. The high rebounder tonight, Ken LaPlante. Good job. Dick Bennett has two points. And the only other scorer for Champlain is Norbert Yankee, who came on strong with some nice shots at four points. I missed the first one. I didn't know they were going to announce that. John Rowe has uh, two points at the half here. Okay. It's 20 to 12. Again, half time scores. Champlain points. Rossi point 12. That's the Enjoy the half time. <laughs> okay. This is the second half. And it's Rouse's point versus Champlain High School. It's the 28th of March, and we're back on the Hometown Classic Cable Network. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, Walt. Anybody measure the baskets? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, he's a bean counter, that's why. He's Mr. Precise. Okay. And Ron Jim Bruno says, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Jules looks nervous, Calvin. Well, this is the rubber game, you know, and this is the third one. You think there might be one next year? I would think so. Yeah, you nice turnout. It's know. 20 to 12. Champlain has got the edge. John Roth, oh, didn't quite have enough. That is a big lead, and Rapid Roy is really coming on strong in that MVP race there. He has six points, lead all scores. Are we going to pick a most valuable player? We might. Okay. I'm kind of hoping that we will. Okay, Dick Bedap underneath. Ooh, Bud Willette. 
Comes back to Dick Bidette. Oh, Puggy Manette. Wow, number 10 for the black team. Rouses point. Okay, and it goes out of bounds. Uh, one of the people they introduced at the start of the game was uh, Joyce Ryan over there, former Joyce Robinson. And uh, I, I don't know, if, <clears throat> I'm sure they didn't have the uh, basketball for the women at, at that stage, although they used to have it. When my mother was in school, they had basketball and such, but uh, I don't think they had it necessarily when Joyce uh, was up here, but uh, the Ryan family in Saranac, Harold and Joyce Ryan, their kids are all big stars at that Saranac school. Yeah, I remember the the name, yep. Okay, we're back underway. It's 20 to 12. Roy throws it up and it doesn't go in. John Southwick gets a rebound and they the call a foul. Tran picks up his third. Oh, he's in danger of fouling out. <laughs> Six fouls. Oh, I don't know about that. Okay. Well, I don't argue with the referee. You can argue with Ron. Okay, John Southwick with the pressure. Throws it up. Oh, oh, what happened here, Calvin? I don't know. It looks like a rubber coated ball for one thing. So. I need something that has a lot of bounce because. If we just put the effort they have in, in dribbling it, it probably wouldn't bounce very high. So they need all the help they can get. Oh, Dr. John. Now that he's been practicing, too, you can tell. Okay. It's 30 to 12. I don't know. Uh, no, I, no, 20 to 12. There, excuse me. 21, Calvin says. 21 to 12. Sorry about that. Oh, there's a fight for it. Oh, <laughs> what are they calling traveling? Oh, Jules not even sweating. I'm not smiling either. <laughs> he's pretty serious. Okay, he's going up against Ken LaPlante, former EMS person of the year. Uh oh, uh oh, wow. Somebody's going to get hurt here. Okay, we're back underway. Dick Bidat, scramble for the ball to Bud, Mr. Bud Willat. Oh, Walt Conley's over him. Dick Bidat. Uh, Rapid Roy hit the uh, bounce the ball off uh, Storm and Norman there <laughs> off his head. I think he did it on purpose. <laughs> oh, look at that. Whoa. Oh, my God. It looked like a professional, Calvin. Bud Weiser, Lillette. Wow. Wow. 23 to 12. The lead is almost insurmountable. Jules Tran looking around. Buggy, we need something. Throws it up. Oh, Jules Tran gets the rebound, but he. Okay, Champlain comes up to court against Mr. Jubert from Scioto. Puggy Manette. <laughs> well, they're making up the rules as they go. Red Jubert throws it all, oh, just short. 23 to 12. The mailman didn't deliver that time. No, he didn't deliver, Calvin. Okay, here we go. Champlain, Dick Bidette leading the charge. Over to Ken LaPlante, looking around. Who's open? Underneath the John Southwick, he throws it up. Oh, just short. Bud Bilat, or Roy Gayette, sorry about that. Comes out to Dick Bidette. Red Jubert with his hands up, the mailman. Comes over to Roy. In the corner to John Southwick, back to Roy. Roy's looking around, out to Dick Bidette. That's, that's the old give and stay. That's yeah. the version of the give and go. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. Some of these guys have lost a step. Some are in pretty good shape. Here comes John Rowe underneath to Jules Tran. Oh, Jules. I saw it traveling, Brian. Yeah. I Look, saw Brian. I thought it was travel, but. I know they, they shoot one foul. The old rule is the uh, first five fouls you'd you'd shoot one. Then it, then you went to a one and one, but I don't know if they're gonna go to the one and one on the sixth right or not. Cross the line apparently. That's the second uh, one pointer that they've lost crossing that line. Southwick had one and now Dick Budette. Okay, we're back underway. It's 23 to 14. John Rowe 
Had a good year fishing, he told me. Fred Jubert back to John Rowe. Dick Bedette defending. Walt Conley to John Rowe. John goes in the corner. He's looking around, but Kendall Plant is all over him. Norm Manette throws it up. Oh, it was just short, too. Underneath, grabbed up by John Southwick. Okay, here comes Kendall Plant. He's looking around. Over to Roy. Roy Gayette throws it up. Oh, I thought it was going to go in. Goes out of bounds off John Rowe. Okay, Roy Gayette to John Southwick. Oh, Dr. John. Every year he plays a good game. 25 to 14. Comes John, John Rowe. Underneath to Marcel Cora, back to John Rowe. John throws it up, rebound comes to John Southwick. Gets it out to Dick Bidette. Fast break for Champlain Roy Gayat. Underneath, layup. Oh! Oh my God, Roy Gayat is looking to... Gayat looking for the charge, but the refs didn't fall for it. That was a that was a half fast uh, break. It wasn't fast break. Half, just half. Okay, we're having a change. We're bringing Jules Strand back, and he's rested. <laughs> oh, oh boy, oh boy. The competitive edge is still here. Puggy Manette. Oh, they're making a charge. <laughs> oh, how'd he get by, Dave? <laughs> Buggy Manette throws it up. Oh, 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 oh. He's being fouled, but they didn't call it. Oh, how did Dave get that rebound? Jack just got up there and cleared everything. Oh. Uh-oh. Marcel Corrin is like a cat. Oh. Okay. Goes up Jules Trea. Ken LaPlante takes it. Passes to Dick Bedette to John Southwick. Bounce pass to Dick Bidette. He's looking. Oh, and it goes off the rim. Jules gets, oh, oh, oh. Jules looking for a foul, but they didn't call it. Uh, okay, here we go. Over to Dick Duffy. Oh, Ken LaPlante. Gets it up to Roy Goyette. Underneath to Ken LaPlante. Oh, just missed. Jules Tran with the rebound. Goes out of bounds. And White Champlain gets the ball. We want to thank Andy Morelli for volunteering to referee. Tom Venz, our official announcer. Here we go. Jules Tran, bounce pass to Norm Manette. We're late in the third quarter in Rouse's Point. Norbert Yakey grabs it. And Champlain comes over center court. It's 27 to 16. Dick Bedette, closely guarded by Jules Tran. Dick Bedette throws it up. Oh, just underneath, he missed. They're all over him. Oh, hook shot. Well, I don't know how that happened, but Norbert Yakey. Oh. Oh, Norm. <laughs> Must be the wind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Well, we're having a good time here in Rouse's Point. It's a good cause, a lot of nice people. Jules Tran, it's unbelievable. Norbert Yakey to Dick Bedat. Oh, underneath. That was a kick. Okay, goes out of bounds. Number 10 for Rouse's Point. Norm Puggy Manat against Dick Bedat. Over to is, uh, George Burns singing I Wish I Were 18 again. <laughs> uh, okay, what do we get for a call? Foul here, Calvin? No, a jump ball. Marcel against Norbert Yankee. <laughs> well, he got up. Dick Bedat? No, Dick Duffy, rather. Sorry. Uh, oh, boy. 
Dave Southwick. Oh my God. They called him on a foul. Uh, Dave Southwick was a longtime referee. He probably worked some games many years ago with Ron Jim Bruno. Yeah, they probably did. Okay, in case you're wondering, it's 27 to 16. Champlain with a commanding lead. John Rowe on the line. Oh, off the rim and out. Oh, fast break. Oh. Norbert got the rebound. Marcel Coran underneath. Looking for somebody open. Goes to Puggy Manette. Puggy throws it up. Oh, off the top of the backboard. Marcel. <laughs> oh, Marcel, we could have used that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> killing time, killing time. There's about 10 seconds left in the third quarter. Dick Badat bringing it up. Champlain's got a good lead. Boy, Roy, if he makes it, oh. John Southwick with the rebound, throws it up. Not much time left. A long 30 seconds, Calvin. Okay, that's a third quarter. It's 27 to 16. A lot of scoring this year, Calvin. It's not unheard of that a team would shut down offensively here, so it's not over, Brian. Certainly can happen that uh, Ross's point could come back. I don't know. I don't think they can pull it off. They're down 11 points. <laughs> We're still arguing about the, the pregame stuff. Okay, here we go. We're underneath fourth quarter. Oh, oh. Okay, Buggy Manette was tripped. Wow. Wow. Oh, I don't know. I think you're trying to even a score up here a little bit, Calvin. The way Puggy's uh, laughing, I don't think there's any trip involved. Uh, <laughs> one shot. They're down by 11 points. If you could get this. <laughs> no, no, not that. Oh, 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 he gets his own rebound. Could be a three-pointer. <laughs> no, I guess not. Okay, Jules to Buggy Manat. Bounce pass, John Rowe, we need it, John. Oh, off the rim and goes out of bounds. Well, you can't be openly cheering here for Rouse's point. Uh, I don't so, care if you're, you just won your re-election. You haven't got to worry about re-election for another two years. So. Uh, there's a chicken for every pot, that's my <laughs> motto. <laughs> okay, here's 27 to 16. Come on, John, talk to him. Okay, here we go. Dick Badat comes from, oh, against Jules Tran, Jules Tran. The Puggy Manette, he's quick, he's still quick. Going up against John Southwick. Bounce pass to Jules Tran. Goes. Kevin Kutcher has been here. Kevin's been here enjoying the game. Yeah. He's a big basketball fan. Yeah, I guess he is. Well, Norm Manette. That makes it 27 to 18. Well, we're not out of range yet. Okay, here we go. Dick Badat looking to John Southwick. John's looking around against Marcel Corin. Oh, Marcel with the foul, Marcel Corin. Oh, John Southwick says we're gonna wave it. Can't be had much confidence in his foul shooting because they keep the ball instead. I guess that was an option back then. Start thinking about most valuable player, Calvin. Ooh. Okay, it's 27 to 18. Uh-oh, John Rose injured. Timeout, John Rose been injured. 
Dr. Southwick, house call. <laughs> well, John Rose hurt too. That's going to hurt Rouse's points chances. Looks like it's Achilles. Yeah. Achilles heel. And George, uh, George Cookman's over to. George comes over. EMS is on the scene. Marcel Cora underneath. Oh, Marcel Cora. Oh my God! All of a sudden, it's 27 to 20. Do you believe in miracles, Calvin? We might see one here tonight. All right, let's go through it again. We got Norbert, the sharpshooter out there. Okay. Vic, the bartender. Rapid Roy. Rapid Roy. Oh, oh. I think he's got most valuable player. Rapid Roy is really uh, leading this team this year. Boy, oh boy. Dr. J. John Southwick. Jules, the train trainer. Arnold, the mailman, Red Jubert. Oh, no! oh. Marcel Crash Corrin. Tricky Dicky Duffy. Storm and Norman Puggy Manette. Kenny, the Mr. Clean. LaPlante. Dave Shack, Southwick. Walter, the stripper, Conley, and John Bunsen Burner Rowe. We're in the fourth quarter. It's 29 to 20. Champlain High School against Rouses Point High School. Bud Willette throws it up and he's out of bounds. Okay, well, Jules Tran looks frustrated. I don't know, we might have to call a timeout. Dick Bidette's gonna throw one up. Oh! Puggy Manette. Foul, foul. 29 to 20. We need it. We need it. You can't be I, I, saying that. Uh, sorry about that. They need it. They need it. Oh, I'm a little partial. I can't help it. Local boy. Okay, we're back underneath, underway. John Southwick, underneath. Puts it up. Oh, oh, boy, I don't know. He still got it. If that, if that had been Dave all alone, he would have seen a dunk right there. Yeah. Well, that might have put it out of reach. Oh, goes out of bounds. Oh, Red Jubert just shakes his head. Okay, here we go. We're getting late in the fourth quarter. It looks like Champlain is going to beat Rouse's point. We can't count them out yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Black. Ron Jim Bruno, the referee from Plattsburgh. Andy Morelli, the other official. Here comes Norman Knapp. Ooh, underneath. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, they're playing for real, Calvin. This is for real. That's 31 to 20. 31 to 20. John Southwick says it's pretty dirty. <laughs> okay, Dick Bedak coming up. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. Well, we've had a good time here. I can tell you that. It's been a lot of laughs. It was a good crowd. They raised a lot of money for local EMS. It's 31 to 20. Time is running out for Rouse's Point High School. Buggy Manette throws. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, when I see that, Calvin, oh, my God. Oh, well, he might be most valuable player, 12 points. Yeah, but a losing effort, you can't really. Okay, all right. Well, then it would have to be probably Roy Gayette, probably. Good point. Oh. Oh, come on, Red. Oh, Red Jubert. Oh. Oh, he threw it up, too. He just missed. Just missed. They're all over him. Ken LaPlante. <laughs> oh. Wow, <laughs> you get that on TV, Calvin, I hope. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. They're, this is for real. They're not faking this. 
This is a a lot more real than WrestleMania is. <laughs> okay, now they're calling the player substitution. Timeout black. Okay, we're back underway. There's under four minutes left. It's 31 to 22, Champlain in a, the lead over Rouses Point High School. Oh, Roy Gayat. He's got my vote right now as the most valuable player. Little doubt at this point that Rapid Roy is the man. Yep. 13, Calvin. Oh. 14. Oh, my God. Well. We ha like to hate to say that we're going to get a most valuable player already picked. <laughs> Jules Tran, captain of the team. Okay, it's 33 to 22. Number 17, Jules Tran. <laughs> Dave Southwick giving him a hex. <laughs> Putting a hex on him there, it worked. Same thing, give it to him again, Dave. <laughs> okay, here we go. Jules Tran. He's looking, he's hoping that he can put it in. Oh. Dave Southwick grabs a rebound. Here comes John Southwick. Okay. Dave throws one up. Oh, no, I don't know. What are they calling here? Steps. steps. <laughs> oh, steps. Okay, well, they're not traveling too fast here at the end of the game. I would say there's probably about two minutes left in the game. There doesn't look like there's much hope for Rouse's point. Puggy Manette gets it to Jules Tran. Jules looking back to Puggy. Throw it up. Oh! Okay, here we go. Puggy Minette to Jules Tran. Goes over to Puggy Minette to Jules Tran. They're down by 11 in the dying minutes of the game in the fourth quarter. Oh. Goes out of bounds. Ron Jim Bruno, the referee from Plattsburgh, gives it to John Southwick. John Southwick to Ken LaPlante. We've had a good game here. It's been a lot of action. Dr. John Southwick looking around. Underneath, oh, he's looking for Roy Gayette. Dick Duffy's back. Oh, he looked like he might have traveled on that. No call. Oh, oh, knocked out of bounds. Jules Trans, pretty quick. Okay, here we go. We're back underway. I would say there's less than two minutes to go. Over to Dave Southwick. John Southwick underneath. Oh, didn't have enough. Oh, what's so? Oh, they're waving the foul. Or, uh, sorry, that's, uh, yeah, yeah, waving the shot. Oh, 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 that must have been a set play. Oh. Like I said, this is nap time for most of these guys. They'd be sleeping in their chairs at home. There'll be some sore bodies tomorrow, Calvin, I can tell you. End of the day after. Okay, we're getting down. There's not much time left. Jump ball. Oh, 
<laughs> okay, Jules, Dr. Southwick are on the line to jump for a jump ball. And as soon as this game's over, those two guys will start arguing about next year's game. <laughs> <laughs> well, give me that, throws one up. Oh, they're just not going in for Rouse's point. I don't know. I don't know what to say here. It's been a good game, though. We've had a lot of fun. Dick Bedat throws one up. Oh, uh, uh, icing on the cake. Icing on the cake. How much time, Tom? One minute to play. One minute in the fourth quarter. It doesn't look like Rouse's point's going to pull it out. We saw a lot of scoring. 59 points we've seen tonight, Calvin. Puggy Manat. Oh! 61 points we've seen. <laughs> oh, oh, they're still, oh, oh my God. They're still complaining. There, there's a debate over where these, some of these guys went to school. There's no debate. The Puggy is a, a, Moore's, a Moore's man, and I would imagine Red Jupert is too. No, I think he lives down by the lake, though. Uh, closer to Rouse's Point, though, doesn't he? It's, this, is where, this is supposed to be a rematch of the old high school days, so it's where they went to school. Okay, Calvin corrected me on that. Then I guess there might be a couple ringers here tonight. There's less than a minute left. It's 37 to 24. In fact, John Southwick, according to Jules, John Southwick isn't old enough to play in this game. <laughs> <laughs> and there we have it. It's 37 to 24. It's been a great game. Calvin, who's our most valuable player? Uh, un undisputed, has to come from the winning team. Uh, and it's obvious, to me anyway, that uh, Rapid Roy Goyette is the, is the man. Yeah, and we've pulled the fans, and that's what we've come up with. Most valuable player for the 2003 game. Roy Goyette. 14 for Goyette. 14. Seven points, Bundle Lat with two, Chandler Plant with six, Dick Bennett with four, Norman Gaten with four. It was a great game, Calvin. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I hope next year we'll be here. Same time, same place, same station. Thank you, people, local residents. We hope you've enjoyed the game, and that's the final here. Buggy had 12. So oh. was the high scorer. Well, that was a good game. Well, we thank you and we want to remind you, please donate to Hometown Cable. Don't forget the Classic Cable Network. Thank you and good night. Well, there we go, Calvin. All right, our thanks to Brian Jefferson for grabbing the microphone and doing another outstanding job. This is the third year in a row that he's done it at this old-timers game, and we're going to keep doing this till Brian becomes an old-timer himself. <laughs>